Why do we call it agent? Because it has agency. It can do things on its own. The same way like James Bond, for example, is a 007 a agent. And then he has tools like a car that can drive and that can swim, that can fire, that can change the number plates. That tool is important. So an AI agent can have like a Google Sheet as a tool that can perform accounting tasks or can have a Gmail access that can perform um, an email, com composing an email. James Bond has a very sharp memory because he wants to make sure that he can find the right criminal at the right time and then take it to the law. And so is the case with an AI agent. An AI agent needs to kind of like remember things. For example, if I, ha I have built an AI agent that takes care of my email inbox and I say that compose an email or send an email to John Doe and mention that I am going to be 20 minutes late, it should remember that who is John Doe and where can I find his, his email address? And that's the memory part of an AI agent. So an AI agent should have uh, a memory intelligence agency, tools attached to it, and it should perform tasks on your behalf based on fuzzy instructions in a natural language. Well, I love the James Bond comparison. Now I, I'm building in my head a word around an AI agent like James Bond. Yeah, it makes sense because like James Bond receives from his boss uh, like a goal, like find this criminal and kill him. So you, you give the AI agent as well a goal, right? Yes. You can give it a goal and you give it tools, uh, maybe an Excel Google Sheet is not as cool as James Bond car, but yeah, does the job. So he can then pick the right tools uh, in the order that the brain of the AI agent uh, decide, right? To reach a certain goal, basically. Yes. Makes sense? 